If you dropped oh, an this classic. off the Empire State Building, you might think it would splat on impact. No. Order of magnitude matters. It's a bit like assuming a tiny speck of uranium can give you as much dose as a reactor core. Scale changes everything. If it fell, the air resistance would create a cushion of drag, slowing it down. And since it only weighs a fraction of an ounce, it's all a balance. Just like in a nuclear reactor, you have neutrons produced by fission, but absorbed by control rods, so it's a controlled reaction. And eventually, here you reach steady state at terminal velocity, which is what criticality really means in a nuclear power plant. The force pulling it toward the Earth is tiny. It's not just weight, it has a huge drag to weight ratio, which is why they fall slowly. Kind of like a smaller nuclear reactor has more neutron leakage because it has a big surface area compared to its volume. In principle. Even when it reached its highest possible speed, it would still only fall at a few miles per hour. Yep, low terminal velocity. And its tough shell means it would hit the ground before walking away unharmed. Yep, ants have exoskeletons designed to handle impacts greater than that. Just like a reactor containment structure is designed to, to handle the entire energy of a reactor core, even during a meltdown or an explosion.